Hi, and welcome to the first of my 10-minute real-time tutorials. Have a look at my channel for lots of speed painting videos, and remember to subscribe. In this video, I'm going to join in on a painting I'm part way through, and demo a dog's eye. I'm using a selection of soft pastels, but for the eye I make use of the sharp points on the pastel pencils. The black is particularly useful for the dark areas in the eye, and I'll also use some lighter shades. I'll use a couple of shades of brown unison soft pastels, and some smaller fragments for highlights. My first task is to strengthen the dark outline. I press pretty hard with the point of the pencil and the reason I move so slowly is because I'm looking at my photo reference a lot, trying to get the sweep of the lines just right. Next I block in the main area of the eye with my darkest brown. I give it a good press into the paper afterwards to allow more layers on top. A warmer brown is added to where the eye catches the light. I'm constantly looking at the photo reference. My initial sketch was pretty accurate, but it's really at this stage I try to find a good likeness in the features. This is where a lighter pastel pencil can be useful. There are fine rims which often catch light, and these are tricky. I press quite hard with the pencils, and I'm using Faber-Castell pit pencils as they're a bit softer than most. I'm starting to block in the dark pupil area, outlining where the brightest highlights will be. The smallest shards of pastel are my most useful. I hang on to every piece and they get used for jobs like this. They make the highlights much brighter than I want them to be. They'll get blended in and reworked a lot before I'm done. I 
I use the pencils to shape and push the pigment around. I'm trying to soften and shape the edges of the highlights. I may take several goes at the brightest parts before I'm happy with those reflections. At this stage I'm really only using the black pencil to lightly push pigment. I'm not leading at all. This outer rim of the eye will often reflect what's around the subject. It may be the blue in the sky, or in this case, the lovely teal blue of that sofa. Pressing a bit harder now with this lighter pastel pencil just to strengthen some of those wet areas in the corners of the eye. My final time is spent strengthening the dark areas and softening edges. At this stage of the painting I still have a lot of work to do to areas around the eyes and the rest of her face. There's over eight minutes of working time here and this was a relatively quick eye to do. I intend to make other videos all under 10 minutes in length and focusing on one major feature at a time. If this is something you would like to see more of, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do apologise if the video is pretty slow. I really do work at this pace and I guess I can't do much about my sleepy tone of voice. But I hope you find it helpful and thanks for watching. I'll finish up now and show you a good quality scanned version at the end of the video. Well, that's the whole piece finished. You can see their entire progress on my blog by searching Fudge and Oreo.